Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Sagittarius, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates. And what resonates for your overall situation? Let's see. What do we have for you, Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? What Sagittarius needs to know? Sagittarius, someone here doesn't want to give up on you. This person doesn't want to stop. They are very determined. Um, but I feel that you don't trust this individual. You are very cautious when it comes to them. Yeah, there is something here about not rushing into things. I feel that you are very careful regarding this situation, regarding this person. There is something about, you know, uh, you are like you don't want to ignore any red flags because you did so much work. There is also something here about outgrowing certain situation. Mm -hmm. But this is someone who wants to ask for your forgiveness they want to release some sort of negativity and they want to come across that they have good intentions but they are stressing out they are stressing out i feel this is someone who made you feel that you are not good enough at some point it felt like this and you did so much work yeah i feel that at some point you made the decision i'm going to prioritize myself i'm going to focus on my needs what i truly want and also i feel that you made the decision that you're going to be happy mm -hmm. and it feels like this person it's stressing out if you accept their apology because what I am getting here that this person is going towards you Sagittarius and I am getting someone who is a uh, very consistent and they don't want to give up let's see let's see Sagittarius show me more please we have the full card the full card five of cups nine of cups High Priestess What else we have for Sagittarius please? The Tower Knight of Cups, mm -hmm, that apology It's coming and we have six of pentacles, seven of cups, three of cups, ten of wands, and king of pentacles. So, Sagittarius, you might be dealing with Aries. We have Scorpio, Aquarius, um, Pisces, Cancerian energy. So far in this reading for you. So, Sagittarius, you have someone here who 
uh, has been very childish, very immature, irrespective of their age. They can be in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. It, it's, it's age here is just a number regarding this whole situation. But because of their childish approach, their immaturity, this person created a tower moment and now they're regretting doing that. This is someone who wants to express that they are sorry. They want to express remorse. That Knight of Cups, it's a sign that this person indeed wants to ask for your forgiveness. They're coming here with an offer of love and peace. Five of, because they are missing you, they are sorry. I'm not 100% convinced here, Sagittarius, that uh, this is someone who created so much illusion. Um, they, I feel this person was very, at some point, very wishy-washy. Um, they wanted you to believe in something that wasn't true. And I feel that they made you feel that you are an option, not a priority. And there is something here about them not clarifying what they truly want. want. It's like this person never really clarified their true intentions regarding this connection. There is some sort of energy with this Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups, like a fantasy. Yeah, this is someone who was projecting uh, some sort of card. Maybe they were telling you about, you know, oh, when the time is right, I cannot wait because we'll do this and we'll do that. We'll be together and those kind of energy I'm getting here. There is something also about this person giving to another situation and it's like they didn't tell you and i feel tower moment suggests here that something happened and it brought enlightenment regarding the situation so it might be a case that you found out about them not prioritizing this connection because actually they were giving to another situation on they or they were focusing on something else here with the six of pentacles three of cups ten of wands a king of pentacles well this is someone here who wants to reconnect they want to reconcile with the three of cups because this whole situation is heavily weighting on their shoulders and heart and 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 they do want to bring more stability to the situation what i mean by this they're stressing out sagittarius this situation is playing on this person's mind and it feels like they are thinking more and more and more about this day by day and it's starting being draining why because this person is not sure if you are willing to forgive them and they do want to bring more stability to the situation. It's like they want to make things. I feel this person has a guilty conscience. That's what I am getting. <coughs> Excuse me, Sagittarius. Show me this person's feelings towards Sagittarius. King of Swords. So we have more Aquarius. Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. Four of Swords. Strength. Six of Wands, Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. As an overall energy for their feelings. This is someone, you might be dealing with Leo as well. Uh, this is someone who wants to talk about the past they want to reconnect six of cups major energy of the past that wants to resurface itself again this is someone who wants it's like they want to have a reunion with you they want to talk about good times 
Yeah, I'm seeing them trying to express. I've been thinking a lot about this situation. You can expect from this person approaching you in a completely different way. They will be very diplomatic about this whole situation. What happened between the two of you? But this is someone who wants to talk with you in order to reconnect with you. But at the same time, they want to talk about the past. Six of Wands, Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. They want to express that even, even though they kind of, you know, walked away or they, there was a disconnect or they distanced themselves from that situation they haven't forgotten about you with the seven of pentacles they are still invested in this connection and it feels like you'll be giving this person wants to give you lots of attention with the six of wands they want to come back six of wands with the eight of cups i'm here sagittarius look at me i'm here i'm coming back Mm -hmm. let's see could you please show me how this person sees this whole situation free of swords well it feels like they broke your heart could you please show me this person's perspective how they see this whole situation please ten of pentacles Three of Cups. Five of, pe uh, five of Pentacles, yes, indeed. Indeed. And Two of Pentacles. Six of Swords, the Hermit, Two of Cups. You might be dealing with Virgo. Well, this is someone who is missing you. It feels like whatever they were juggling you, whatever they were juggling. Okay, give me a second, Sagittarius. It's my broken grammar. Um, with the two of pentacles i feel this person was juggling you with another situation if that's the case five of pentacles that really backfired i'm getting and it feels like this person uh, was left with nothing because that thing didn't work out and they really kind of affected this connection by their actions that's why we have a five of pentacles Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups. This is someone here who wants to reconnect again. I know I am repeating myself, but that's what they're showing me. They want a stable relationship. They want to be happy because they've been missing you. How they see this? How they see this situation? They want to leave the past in the past. They want to move forward towards the future with you. They've been thinking about the situation. This is someone who will try to come across as as as. Uh, more mature wiser you know that they've been in a in a they were in a hermit mode they had long deep think about the situation and they realized that you are the person with the two of cups that they want to be only with you yeah and they they are ready now for a serious relationship that would seriously make them very, 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 very happy. That's their plan. That's how they see the situation. Let's see, Sagittarius, your perspective. How you see this situation, please. Let's see. How Sagittarius sees this whole situation, please. Sagittarius's perspective. Seven of Swords. Six of Wands, 
and eight of swords overall energy we have nine of wands queen of pentacles nine of pentacles I feel that you don't trust this person with the nine of wands you are very guarded because of what happened between the two of you seven of swords I feel that you see this person as someone who is sneaky who's been to face who hasn't been fully transparent with you six of wands with the eight of swords I feel that you don't want to feel stuck and you know six of wands suggests here that I feel that you see this person as an attention-seeking person, Sagittarius. With the Queen of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles, I'm seeing you focusing so much on your well-being. This is a self-love, self-care energy, and I feel this is your priority. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, I'm seeing you being very self-sufficient, very independent, cherishing that freedom, that, that energy of independence and self-love yeah what i am getting here that you know exactly what you want you have certain expectations you have certain standards and you know you know that you bring a lot to the table you have so much to offer you know your worth and you refuse to settle for less than you deserve it's a very empowering energy sagittarius The bottom line here is I feel Sagittarius based on those cards that you don't trust this person and you just don't want to feel stuck. Mm -mm. This is something I feel that you refuse to, uh, to accept. Well, let's see the outcome. Could you please show me the outcome? We have the lovers in your outcome, Sagittarius. Okay. We have the devil card. Ten of wands, justice. Overall energy for this reading. Two of swords, the chariot and four of wands. So you might be dealing with Capricorn, we have Libra, we have Gemini, we also have more Cancerian energy with the Chariot, the Lovers, the Devil card, Ten of Wands and Justice. I'm seeing you being very cautious because um, I feel Sagittarius that you are perfectly aware what this person is bringing to this connection the lovers with the devil card suggests that i feel that you want to avoid a toxic relationship and that's what these cards are showing yes there might be a big amount of passion attraction between the two of you but this connection has been a hard work with the ten of wands and at some point with the devil card and ten of wands it felt like a one-sided relationship but times 10 what I am getting here Sagittarius is that you will have a chance to address this with the justice if something indeed was left out and was and you felt like you never had an opportunity to tell this person how they made you feel what they created or what sort of dynamic they brought to this situation cross watches the roles can be reversed you will have that opportunity with the justice justice will be served and i'm seeing you addressing certain things and if indeed you feel that you have to be cautious and you don't want to rush into things i completely understand why you why you have that attitude with the lovers the devil card and ten of wands that is exhausting this is an exhausting energy tiring 
training and much more you will have an opportunity to address this two of swords the chariot and four of wands what i am getting here sagittarius that you might have a choice or at some point you will have a choice to make between two people this person and someone else because you know this is someone who will not give up even if you address this this whole situation they won't give up and i feel that at some point you might feel like you are at the crossroads with the two of swords and with the chariot and four of wands i feel that there will be another opportunity for to create a relationship or connection with someone else but because of the history with this person you know you might you might feel like you're at the crossroads as simple as that but at some point uh, i feel that you know with the two of swords the chariot and the four of wands you might indeed feel like you will have to make a decision what to do with this connection but this is more about the choice between two connections and i feel you know for instance if you are dating someone new sagittarius this person is going to reach out to you and you might feel like you know you're at the crossroads regarding this connection and that new connection if you if you for instance single um i feel that you will meet someone fairly soon and when you will meet that person this person will reach out to you and you might feel like you need to make a decision what to do but i'm seeing you choosing a connection i'm seeing you being in a relationship but it will depends on you uh, who you're going to choose here sagittarius so the choice is yours if you're going to you know it depends on you i see for some of you you know reconciliation with this person but i'm not seeing you re you know rushing into things with this with this individual mm -mm. but for some of you i feel that yes you might decided to actually it's done it's over you want to move on and you want to be in a new relationship with someone else so essentially sagittarius decision will be yours but you will have an opportunity to address everything regarding this connection and what this person put you through Sagittarius I will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time I truly truly appreciate you Sagittarius have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day and once again thank you very very much for being with me I am sending you much much love Till next time, take care. Bye.